So I'm back today to do a wig review for you guys. And yep, you guessed it. This unit that I'm rocking is Mrs. Jazzy by Sensational Empress. And I received this unit from SisterWigs.com. I will leave all their information in the description box down below. And if you want to save 10% off your entire order, use the code ALSO in all capital letters. So this is how Miss Jazzy is looking on the stock card and on the model. And I have her in a 1B30. I feel like this is the perfect wintertime color. The first thing that I noticed about this unit when I put it on my head is that it had a massive wig hump. Which made me kind of unsure about the unit at first. I also feel that since I got a darker color, I'm not encountering some of the problems that I heard other YouTubers say. Such as it being too dry. The texture is amazing. It's a yakky kind of a texture. The cap construction is a standard cap construction. It has two combs in the front, a comb in the back, as well as adjustable straps. You get a good four inches of parting space. The density is nice and full. It's not like dramatically full and that can be because I finger comb my unit. Depending on the curl pattern of the unit will determine if I'm going to go right in with a paddle brush or with my fingers. So I felt like with this kind of a curl pattern it's best to go in with your fingers which I did. Spritz some water on it and then I just lightly rake the curls out to make it look more natural. Now I will say that this unit gives me the vibe that it will tangle up fairly easy but since this is a special occasion wig for me I'm not even worried about the tangling issue but it did shed some I thought I would throw that out there because running my fingers through it I did get some shedding but the shedding has slowed down now however I don't suggest you just running your fingers through this unit constantly because of the curl texture you don't want to manipulate this curl texture too much unless you're going for that kind of poofy look so I did go in and manipulate the parting as you guys could probably tell the parting was pretty tight so I did tweeze some of the hairs out of the parting space as well as I put in some pressed powder and I think the parting space is looking really nice now and the only other alteration that I made is I took this bang piece in the front and I took my flat iron and I just bumped it going backwards because it was kind of going toward my face and I wasn't really feeling that so I just took this piece and I bumped it backwards with my flat iron on like a medium low setting and I had no problems with the texture changing I did also do the same thing for my bang area right here and to get rid of that nasty wig hump that you will encounter with this hair, I just spritzed some water on the top area of the hair and I just took a satin scarf and I tied it down for like 20 minutes and that helped tremendously. I did forget to mention that the cap construction is like a medium sized cap construction. I feel like if you have a big head you will love this unit and if you do have a smaller head like myself all you have to do is adjust the straps and it still fits very nice and comfortably and secure on your head. Now to finish this video off, we're going to talk about the length. The length of this unit, I'm going to have to roll with. It's about 20, 22 inches long. And if you stretch it out, it's probably going to be about 24, 26 inches long if you decide to straighten it. So let's do a 360 before we get out of here. to let you guys know that this unit is available at sisterwigs.com. I will put the link to their web address in the description box down below. I will also list the pricing, 
and things of that nature. So be sure to check out the description box. Also, if you want to save 10% off your order, I will have my coupon code in the description box as well. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I appreciate it so much. Please stay tuned for more wig reviews and other videos coming on my channel. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, so, so.